Lutz and Egbertus Jan Brouwer Formims BRTs JNBR UR, the 27th of February 1881 to 2 December 1966, usually cited as L. E. J. Brouwer but known to his friends as Bertus, was a Dutch mathematician and philosopher, a graduate of the University of Amsterdam who worked in topology, set theory, measure theory and complex analysis. He was the founder of the mathematical philosophy of intuitionism. Biography Early in his career, Brouwer proved a number of theorems that were breakthroughs in the emerging field of topology. The most celebrated result was his proof of the topological invariance of dimension. Among his further results, the Brouwer fixed point theorem is also well known. Brouwer also proved the simplicial approximation theorem in the foundations of algebraic topology, which justifies the reduction to combinatorial terms after the sufficient subdivision of simplicial complexes of the treatment of general continuous mappings. In 1912, at age 31, he was elected a member of the Royal Netherlands Academy of Arts and Sciences. Brouwer in effect founded the mathematical philosophy of intuitionism as an opponent to the then prevailing formalism of David Hilbert and his collaborators Paul Bernays, Wilhelm Ackermann, John von Neumann and others, 46-59. As a variety of constructive mathematics, intuitionism is essentially a philosophy of the foundations of mathematics. It is sometimes and rather simplistically characterized by saying that its adherents refused to use the law of excluded middle in mathematical reasoning. Brouwer was a member of the Signifix group. It formed part of the early history of semiotics, the study of symbols, around Victoria, Lady Welby in particular. The original meaning of his intuitionism probably cannot be completely disentangled from the intellectual milieu of that group. In 1905, at the age of 24, Brouwer expressed his philosophy of life in a short tract life. Art and mysticism described by Davis is drenched in romantic pessimism. 94. Brouwer then embarked on a self-righteous campaign to reconstruct mathematical practice from the ground up so as to satisfy his philosophical convictions. Indeed his thesis advisor refused to accept his chapter 2 as it stands all interwoven with some kind of pessimism and mystical attitude to life which is not mathematics nor has anything to do with the foundations of mathematics. Nevertheless, in 1908, Brouwer, in a paper entitled The Untrustworthiness of the Principles of Logic, challenged the belief that the rules of the classical logic, which have come down to us essentially from Aristotle have an absolute validity, independent of the subject matter to which they are applied. 46. After completing his dissertation, Brouwer made a conscious decision to temporarily keep his contentious ideas under wraps and to concentrate on demonstrating his mathematical prowess. 95. By 1910 he had published a number of important papers, in particular the Fixed Point Theorem. Hilbert, the formalist with whom the intuitionist Brouwer would ultimately spend years in conflict, admired the young man and helped him receive a regular academic appointment at the University of Amsterdam. It was then that Brouwer felt free to return to his revolutionary project which he was now calling intuitionism. He was combative for a young man. He was involved in a very public and eventually demeaning controversy in the later 1920s with Hilbert over editorial policy at Mathematische Analen, at that time a leading learned journal. He became relatively isolated. The development of intuitionism at its source was taken up by his student Arend Hating, Dutch mathematician and historian of mathematics Bartel Leendert van der Weyer and attended lectures given by Brouwer in later years, and commented, even though his most important research contributions were in topology, Brouwer never gave courses in topology. 
but always on, and only on, the foundations of his intuitionism. It seemed that he was no longer convinced of his results in topology because they were not correct from the point of view of intuitionism, and he judged everything he had done before, his greatest output, false according to his philosophy, about his last years, Davis remarks. He felt more and more isolated, and spent his last years under the spell of totally unfounded financial worries and a paranoid fear of bankruptcy. Primary Literature in English Translation Jean van Heijenort, 1967 Third Printing 1976 with Corrections, a source book in Mathematical Logic, 1879-1931, Harvard University Press, Cambridge, Massachusetts, ISBN 0-674-32449-8 PBK. The original papers are prefaced with valuable commentary. 1923, L.E. J. Brower, on the significance of the principle of excluded middle in mathematics, especially in function theory, with two addenda and corrigenda, 334-45. Brower gives brief synopsis of his belief that the law of excluded middle cannot be applied without reservation even in the mathematics of infinite systems, and gives two examples of failures to illustrate his assertion. 1925, A.N. Kolmogorov, on the principle of excluded middle, pp. 414-437. Kolmogorov supports most of Brouwer's results but disputes a few. He discusses the ramifications of intuitionism with respect to transfinite judgments e.g., transfinite induction, 1927, L.E., J. Brower, on the domains of definition of functions, Brower's intuitionistic treatment of the continuum, with an extended commentary, 1927, David Hilbert, The Foundations of Mathematics, 464-801927, L.E., J. Brower, Intuitionistic Reflections on Formalism, 490-92. Brower lists four topics on which intuitionism and formalism might enter into a dialogue. Three of the topics involve the law of excluded middle. 1927. Herman W. E. Y. L. Comments on Hilbert's Second Lecture on the Foundations of Mathematics, 480-484. In 1920 W. Weyl, Hilbert's prize pupil, sided with Brower against Hilbert. But in this address Weyl, while defending Brower against some of Hilbert's criticisms, attempts to bring out the significance of Hilbert's approach to the problems of the foundations of mathematics. Avald William B. Ed. 1996. From Can to Hilbert. A source book in the foundations of mathematics. 2 vols. Oxford Univ. Press, 1928, Mathematics, Science, and Language, 1170-85, 1928, The Structure of the Continuum, 1186-96, 1952, Historical Background, Principles, and Methods of Intuitionism, 1197-1207, Brouwer, E.J., Collected Works, Volume, I, Amsterdam, North Holland, 1975, Brouwer, E.J., Collected Works, Volume, II, Amsterdam, North Holland, 1976, Brouwer, E.J., Life, Art, and Mysticism, Notre Dame Journal of Formal Logic, Volume, 37, pp. 389-429. Translated by W. P. Van Stigt with an introduction by the translator, pp. 381-87. Davis quotes from this work, a short book, drenched in romantic pessimism. W. P. Van Stigt, 1990, Brouwer's Intuitionism, Amsterdam, North Holland, 1990. Secondary Dirk van Dalen, mystic, geometer, and intuitionist. The Life of L. E. J. Brower, Oxford Univ. Press, 1999, Volume 1, 
The Dawning Revolution, 2005, Volume 2, Hope and Disillusion, 2013, L.E. J. Brower, Topologist, Intuitionist, Philosopher, How Mathematics is Rooted in Life, London, Springer, Martin Davis, 2000, The Engines of Logic, W. Norton, London, ISBN 0-393-32229-7 PBK, CF. Chapter 5, Hilbert to the Rescue, wherein Davis discusses Brower and his relationship with Hilbert in WEYL with brief biographical information of Brower. Davis's references include, Stephen Kleene, 1952 with corrections 1971, 10th reprint 1991, Introduction to Metamathematics, North Holland Publishing Company, Amsterdam, Netherlands, ISBN 0-7204-2103-9. CF. In particular Chapter 3, A Critique of Mathematical Reasoning, 13, Intuitionism, and 14, Formalism, Coasia, Tune, Editor, Mathematics and the Divine, A Historical Study, Amsterdam, Elsevier Science and Technology, 2004, ISBN 0-444-50328-5.